Are you an entrepreneur who feels stuck, like they can't get to that next level? Maybe it's that there's some invisible force that you think is really holding you back, but you just don't know what it is or how to identify it. My name's Joe Moffat with Master Life by Design and today's video is about the one thing that paralyzes young entrepreneurs and stops them from going to the next level. Now, if you're watching this video, this video is for young entrepreneurs that are really looking to elevate their game. Maybe they have success in business, but in the other areas of life, they're looking to kick ass. And so Master Life by Design is about consciously creating the life that you want and we all can go to a next level. So with that being said, let's jump in because I wanna be able to make sure that we break down the one thing that paralyzes us as young entrepreneurs from going to the next level. In fact, I actually just wrapped up a coaching call with some young entrepreneurs that are just on fire right now. They're building a real estate portfolio. They're getting things rolling. And this limitation came up for them. They're really wanting to go to that next level, but there's things that were popping up that were really stopping them. And maybe you're one of those people that you know you can do more. You know you can achieve more. You just feel like you're running into this brick wall but you just don't know why. And the biggest thing that I found after the last decade of coaching high-performing entrepreneurs is that we have this little voice in our head that just chirps to us, talks to us all over and over and over. Sometimes it's nice, sometimes it's very mean, right? But the one thing that really stops us and paralyzes us from going to that next level is we start to ask ourselves disempowering questions or questions that paralyze us. And I see it over and over again when an entrepreneur comes and they're like, look, I really have this great business idea. I'm looking to go to that next level or I think this business idea could go to that next level or take me to the next level. I don't know whether I should do it or not. And we start digging in a little bit and we find things that I find are common patterns of, am I gonna succeed? Can I really do this? Am I good enough to do this? And <clears throat> When I'm working with these people, first off, one of the things that I hear, and this is kind of a little insight around the coaching mindset and how we help people, is what I hear is that they're asking close any questions. Yes or no questions. Those questions tend to ha create what I call a tug of war inside. Like, yes, you could go to the next level, but you might lose a lot of money. Or you might invest a ton of time and lose all your time because it wasn't a hit versus you could actually succeed. And so there's this internal tug of war. The thing that paralyzes them is that they ask these disempowering questions. What we wanna to start to look at is empowering questions, questions that can allow them to shift their focus. Please put this in your notes if you're taking notes. Questions direct your focus. And the questions that you ask yourself determine the direction of your life. And I'll come back to this, but I was just telling them a story about me. When me and my wife met, my wife was a mobile notary. She was living in the Bay Area. She was working as a mobile notary up there, working with a really close friend that she considers a sister like up there. And when she came to San Diego, she had to start her business all over, like from ground zero, it's no connections, nothing. So every day she was calling, she was getting on platforms, she was hustling, and she started to build her book of business and she started having great money. And then, we would like to go visit her family for a week or sometimes two weeks, at least 10 days where we got two weekends to spend quality time and to hang out. The benefit there though was that she could go up north and she still had her friend that she considered a sister up there that would give her you know, deals so she could make money. I was coaching, so I could work anywhere in the world. <clears throat> we were blessed in that situation. However, what if we wanted to go visit my family in New Jersey? What if we wanted to take a trip to Mexico? What if we wanted to go somewhere where we didn't, she didn't, she wasn't a mobile notary, had connections there? She wouldn't be able to earn income. So we started asking ourselves a question, how can we make money together anywhere in the world? And ultimately we came up with the idea that she could become a coach and that's exactly what she did. And after a little bit of time, we started working with her, getting her schooled up and everything. She became a full-time coach, which was really exciting. But I'll tell you why that question's disempowering, at least for us and our goals, but I'll tell you in a minute. <clears throat> Let's go back to the quality um, questions around empowering questions. Most entrepreneurs, they ask themselves close any questions and they put them in this box, right? You can't get out of this box. But when we ask empowering questions, and empowering questions are how and what and who questions. 
How, what, and who questions. When you start to ask those questions, it starts to take the limitations off and it changes the direction of your focus from here, which is problem or potential problem, to solution base. So instead of, you know, how are we going to go to the next level or, or, or excuse me, not how, how can we go to the next level would be a great question. What do we need to do to make this business succeed? First, can I make this business succeed? One's disempowering, can I make it? I don't know, depending on your state that day or how you feel about yourself, you might not actually be taking action. You might feel like crap and come up with a crap answer. But if you ask yourself, what do we need to do to make this business successful? Your brain is like a servo mechanism. I used to work in electronics and we would do counter, I was a countermeasures technician, which means that when I was in the Marine Corps, <clears throat> which means that when a heat sinking missile locked onto an aircraft to blow it up and it was shh, our machines dispense chaff, infrared, whatever it was that allowed it to kind of make it seem invisible to that heat sinking missile. And so when we would, you know, so anyway, that was fun, right? It would protect the planes, it would protect the aircrafts, right? And so that started to interrupt the direction in which that heat sinking missile went. When we ask ourselves um, empowering questions, it's like that heat sinking missile that's attached to the aircraft that's gonna allow you to figure out the answer. But you gotta give time, you gotta think about it, right? And what most, what mostly what happens with entrepreneurs, these high performing ones, they're just like, let's go, 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 let's make things happen. For them to slow down, ask the questions, really think it through, get an answer, or at least a few answers to start testing and checking, they, that's really not in their repertoire. And so that becomes a problem. But I'm telling you, you change your questions, you'll change your life. And so <clears throat> going back to my, que my question with my wife, how can we earn income anywhere in the world? We realized based on the goals that we have of making a huge impact in this world and making a significant income to help friends, family, and most importantly, to be able to give the way we want to give on a higher level, we were asking the wrong question. And the question we ask ourselves now, the empowering question is, how do we make seven figures a year in passive income anywhere in the world while we make an impact? and live life on our terms. That question there changes the direction. One, how do we make money anywhere in the world? Cool, get an online job, you could do that. Anyone, a lot of people after COVID-19, a lot of people are working on that path. They're working from anywhere in the world on their laptop or from their home. But the other question, you know, how do we make seven figures passive income each year anywhere in the world while making an impact? That's a different path. And so now we're starting to work on that. We're starting to build, we have our plan in place. We are starting to work on it. It's not gonna happen overnight. It might not even happen this year. It might not even happen next year, but we're on that journey. It can, it absolutely can. I'm not closing off that possibility because there's infinite possibilities available to us in the next moment. So I'm not gonna shut the door that says, oh, this is how you do it this year. I'm not shutting that door. I wanna keep it open. So many of us shut our doors because we ask ourselves disempowering questions. I invite you, if you're a high performing entrepreneur, you're looking to go to the next level, but you just feel like you're stuck, start thinking about what are you thinking about? What are you saying to yourself? What are the questions that you're asking? How could I do this? It's impossible. That question, not gonna help you, right? And I know I said how, but sometimes we ask a question in a disempowering way. So. Start changing your questions, write them down. What are you saying to yourself? What are those questions that you can ask us to help on, focus on the solution? So what, who, or how questions? And sometimes the how can play on both sides of the fence, right? But write them down. Start to answer those questions that you create because it's not just enough to have the awareness, right? Like we can all be aware that you're overweight. Right, you know, I get a lot of entrepreneurs are on the computer all day, bam, bam, bum, busting out funnels and ads and everything, and they're eating at their desk. They're not getting a lot of movement, <clears throat> working 12-hour days to make a ton of money, which is awesome. But now their health goes to shit, and so they know the questions that they're asking it themselves. They know that they're out of shape, but are they answering the questions of what do I need to do today to start taking that first steps towards getting healthier, getting back in shape? They don't take time to write it out. Oh, I gotta make sure that I, first thing in the morning, I gotta get up and you know go for a 10 mile walk. <laughs> That'd be a long time. But like a run for two miles or maybe get on the bike for you know 10 miles. Whatever that is, you gotta make sure you answer it and then go actually do it. That's gonna make the difference. Action trumps ideas 
every day. And I know as an entrepreneur, you have a million ideas. You're so creative and you get things done, but you got to sometimes slow down or back up a step or two in order to take three or four steps forward. So with that being said, if you found value in this video, which I know you did, I'm not going to ask if, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, turn on that notification. We're coming out with three videos a week because if you're a young entrepreneur looking to go to that next level in different areas of your life, this video is for you, this channel is for you, and we're going to be adding more and more videos around other value adds in your life. And so make sure you subscribe and click on that. And also, I'd love to hear from you. Comment below. What did you take away? What was your biggest distinction? How are the questions that you're asking disempowering you or empowering you to have the success and go to the next level or not? So with that, my name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See you.